Hey, it's Sarah Lil. We're going to look at the toolbars in our iMovie on the iPad. As you can see, I have some pictures in here. Uh, at the top right corner, let's say I wanted to add another picture. I hit the plus button and I'm going to select at the bottom media, not audio. And again, I can go back to moments or any of those other options that we were exploring before. And let's say I wanted to add a picture, um, and I just click on that picture, and it will drop it right in there for me. It's at this selected time, so if I want to change it, I will show you how to do that in just a little bit. Um, after this toolbar, if we wanted to add some audio, you could add some sound effects. Uh, you can add recordings, so if you recorded somewhere, you could um, add that recording in here again. Um, if you have iTunes linked up, then you could add things from your iTunes. The next button over here is Settings. Settings is going to help us uh, filter our pictures or videos. If we wanted to select a theme, we could go through and select a theme. Uh, if we have a certain theme picked out and we love the music that goes with that, we can click and it will add the theme music for that. Um, fade in from black, fade out of black is just going to affect the beginning and ending of your movie. Um, and it will start with a black screen and then fade into whatever your first picture or video is. Um, so that's good for settings right there. Uh, let's say undo. I really don't want to have theme music. Then you hit this undo button and that will get rid of the last thing that we did. Uh, right here, this little wavelength, that's going to show us a little bit more advanced editing options, especially when it comes to sound. So it shows us the uh, wavelength patterns. Over here we have camera, so we can click on that and um, add a picture if we'd like to take it in real time or we can add um, <clears throat> excuse me a recording uh, if we wanted to you know say welcome to the iMovie or uh, explain a topic then that's a great place for you to hit on that recording there you go those are the toolbars that you have for yourself in iMovie